and welcome to summer. Pink lemonade? Hello, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you living in the Southern Hemisphere, like myself, you will be noticing that it is getting too darn hot. Despite the fact that half my country is on fire and I've been sewing mittens for koalas for most of my weekend, I thought it's time that I share with you some of my pin-up summer essentials. These are tips and tricks to sort of keep you as cool as possible when it does hit 40 degrees and you still have to go out and function as a pin-up in your society. The first thing I am going to start with is probably the most obvious thing, sunscreen. Now I can sit here and talk to you about many different things, but the benefits of sunscreen have been proven. Please, 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 please wear your sunscreen. You can, I have my special face sunscreen, which I put under my makeup. My moisturizer also has SPF, SPF, yeah, that's the word, has that in it. Um, I have a wide range of sunscreens depending on when and where I'm going out in the daytime. So please, 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 and something this small you can easily pop into your purse and it will just keep you from damaging your skin, getting burnt, obviously, and just aging the skin just a little bit too fast. My next pin-up summer essential is the world's largest straw hat. Now, I have been wearing straw hats since I saw Gone with the Wind when I was a wee little child. My mum used to fast forward all the war parts because I basically just wanted to see Vivian Lee run around in her amazing outfits. That's all I cared about at that stage. Also, when I saw the movie Funny Face, when Audrey Hepburn is standing there in that iconic yellow flower dress and she's got that big hat. Now, on most summer days, I will be wearing one of the many straw hats I own. This is one of my bigger ones, but I do have smaller ones, ones that are more domed, ones that are more curved in. There are just so many different beautiful variations that one straw hat just doesn't do it for me. I need a lot. They also just make you look a little bit more glamorous, and at least in my opinion. So a straw hat is a great way of keeping the sun off your neck, your face, your shoulders. It is just also just such a beautiful, lovely, ladylike thing to have. Definitely get yourself a lovely hat. Very much like the hat, the next item is for those that really, really don't think that a hat suits them. The good old parasol is where it is at. Parasols are one of my favorite items to wear whenever I have to go out and do pin-up. It is a great way of carrying a little bit of shade with you at all times. It'll keep it off your neck, your shoulders and your arms. So you still have to wear sunscreen definitely because this won't stop the rays, it will just sort of mute them a little bit. Parasols are also pretty easily found. I've gotten most of mine off eBay for about $4 each. So now that we've looked after your skin, the next most important thing to look after is your eyes. A pair of sunglasses, they don't have to be vintage like these ones, but you can always get modern glasses in a vintage style or frame. This is one of the greatest things you can wear to protect your eyes from the harsh rays and reflections. Vintage sunnies are also a fun way of showing your personality and adding a really fun accessory to your style and your outfit. So really have fun with them. If you can afford it, get a couple of fun colors or fun shapes. It just really adds a little bit of excitement and fun glamour to your summertime outfits. It'll also stop you squinting in photographs, which as pinups is something that we actually do care about. Another thing I recommend you carry around as a pinup in the summertime is a fan. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. You flap it around, it keeps you cool, it stops your makeup sweating, you can go underneath your skirt or your friend's skirt with consent if you want to cool your legs off because I know what it's like to be standing in a full pinup and you just feel the beads of sweat going down your leg and it does not feel glamorous or pretty at all. So a fan can really help you or your friends out. You can get a multitude of designs. This is just a lovely lace one I have, but I've also got paper ones. A fan is definitely another pinup summer essential. It's also just very dramatic. Be gone. 
Bring me my pink lemonade. Thanks. My next pin up summer essential hack is a little bit strange, but it is one of these. These are sweat pads. Yes, I am human and I do release the odd bit of sweat and I get a little bit self-conscious about the sweat patches you get under your arms, especially on a ridiculously hot day. I know it's a human function, but it's not just something that I am comfortable with. So I discovered these guys and basically you stick them into the underarm side of your dress. It works great if your dress has little sleeves, but if not, you can just cut them down the middle and use, you know, one on each side, which is great. They are not scented, but they are discreet, really light wearing. I forget that I've got them on even, and they are a godsend. I wish I had them in high school. This is a great little find to have and a really lovely pin-up hack to protect yourself from embarrassment and your pin-up clothes from yellowing. Another pin-up summertime essential I have are these. These are deodorant tissues and basically you can pop them into your purse and on the go if you're feeling like you're perspiring a little bit too much and want to freshen up, you just pull out a tissue, give yourself a bit of a wipe and a clean up. I sometimes even do the back of my legs because they just feel sometimes really gross and sticky from sitting down all the time. And they will just freshen you up and keep you smelling lovely all day. I now have a couple of tips and tricks to help you get through the summer. The first being is when it is way too hot, leaves a petticoat home. I know this goes against a lot of beliefs that pinups should wear petticoats, but when it is 40 degrees, which is well over 150 Fahrenheit, I will find out the exact number and put it somewhere. It is too hot, you can risk you getting overheated, heat stroke, fainting, I've seen it, it is not worth it. So leave the petticoats at home. That also goes for nylon stockings. Nylon traps heat in because it is artificial material. Yes, your legs look silky smooth and gorgeous. Keep them for the stage, don't worry about them for events, it is too hot. Don't risk your legs overheating, getting heat rash or just not feeling comfortable. You're not going to have a good time. My next biggest hack is also a cliche like sunscreen, drink water. It is so important to stay hydrated for yourself. I don't want any of you guys getting dizzy, falling over, feeling sick or nauseous and just not having a great summer because you're not drinking enough water. It doesn't matter what your water bottle looks like. I've got a Ravenclaw bottle even though I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh well, it stores my water, I can stay hydrated and it is also easy to fill it up around the city. There's lots of drink fountains that are all perfectly filtered and clean. I definitely recommend carrying around a water bottle at all times. Another great vintage hack is have your hair up on top of your head. Having your hair on the back of your neck can be really sticky and uncomfortable. So start learning some fun vintage updos. My go-to in summer is my poodle because it is so quick and easy. And also I just don't like hair and sweat and stickiness on the back of my neck. It is just super uncomfortable and I just don't feel good. So have it on top of your head and it is all lovely. You can pin it all forward so you can have your hat at the back. It also gives your hat something to grip onto. So I recommend investing in some really lovely pin-up updos. Similar to updos, if you really do want a lovely brush out, I recommend getting a hairnet. I often have a hairnet holding my brush out together. It just sort of keeps it off my neck slightly. It stops the curls falling out. And it's what gives me that, I guess, the perfect sort of no frizzy hair look. Pin-up hair is one of my biggest struggles still, even though I've been doing it for so long. So by having a hairnet, it just really helps keep the hair all together and off your neck, which will help cool you down as well. My final tip and trick is carrying around a little compact of translucent powder with you always. We often get a little bit of sweat or shine, so to get rid of that, by popping out your compact, you can put on a light layer and it will just mat you down and refresh you a little bit. You can also get something like blotting paper. I've got Disney blotting paper because of course I would. And that will just help absorb any oils or excess sweat on your skin, keeping your makeup fresh and beautiful. 
And those are my top tips and tricks and pin-up summer essentials. I really hope you all have a wonderful summer. Enjoy yourselves and look after each other. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on my channel today. I had a lot of fun filming this video and I'm looking forward to summer myself. If you'd like to keep up with all my summertime vintage adventures, feel free to follow me on all the socials. They are all linked below and also subscribe to my channel. I love having you all here for this adventure of vintage glamour and tomfoolery. I will see you all in the next video. Bye! You know when that sneeze is hanging around and you just like, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? And it's just gonna troll you for 20 minutes but make you look like, yeah, that's me right now. And they are my top ticks. No, <laughs> ticks. Oh. <laughs> I cannot say the word deodorant. 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 Why can't I just call it desodorant like I have been my entire life? Desodorant tissues. Available. Probably not in a country near you.